Have you ever pondered upon the phrase, God is everywhere and in everything, look? It's a powerful statement, isn't it? It speaks to the omnipresence of God, the divine essence that permeates every corner of our universe. Consider the sun, ever present, bathing every inch of our world in its warm, nurturing light. No matter where you are, the sun is there too, providing light and warmth, casting away shadows. This is much like God's presence in our lives. He is always there, in our triumphs, our tribulations, our stillness and our chaos. His love and guidance are as constant as the sun's light, illuminating our paths and warming our souls. We can find comfort and reassurance in this omnipresence, a constant guiding force in the ever-changing tides of our lives. Just as the sun never ceases to shine, so too is God's presence constant in our lives. Have you ever considered the idea that God can be seen in every person you encounter? Let's delve into this thought. Imagine you're in a bustling city, overwhelmed by the noise and the crowd. Suddenly you stumble, your belongings scattering on the pavement. A stranger, in the midst of all the chaos, stops to help you gather your things. You share a moment of connection, a smile, and then you both go on your way. This act of kindness, that's God's love right there. It's a manifestation of compassion, a reflection of the divine spirit within us all. It's in these moments where people extend a hand, not because they have to, but because they want to, that we truly see God in others. In every act of kindness, in every word of comfort, in every shared moment of joy or sorrow, we encounter the divine. It's not about the grand gestures, but the small, everyday acts that often go unnoticed. It's the patience of a teacher explaining a concept for the tenth time, the concern of a friend when you're unwell, the unconditional love of a parent, the empathy of a stranger. These are the moments that remind us of our shared humanity, our capacity to love, to understand, to help. They remind us of the divine spark within us. And isn't that God? Isn't God the embodiment of love, kindness and compassion? God's presence can be seen in the kindness and love shown by others. So the next time you see a kind act, remember you're witnessing God in action. Do you perceive God's presence even in times of adversity? As we journey through life, we encounter trials and tribulations. These challenges, whether big or small, are stepping stones that shape our character and resilience. Let's consider the story of a woman named Sarah. She was in her mid-thirties when she lost her job due to a company-wide layoff. It was a challenging time for her, both financially and emotionally. She had bills to pay, a family to support, and suddenly no source of income. But instead of succumbing to despair, Sarah chose to view this as an opportunity. She used her free time to explore new skills and interests. She started a small online business, something she had always dreamed of but never had the time to pursue. The business took off and she found herself happier and more fulfilled than she had ever been in her previous job. Was this a coincidence or was it a divine intervention? Was God present in Sarah's struggle, guiding her towards a path she would not have discovered otherwise? It's not for us to say, but it's clear that the challenge she faced led her to grow in ways she had not anticipated. So the next time you face a challenge, remember Sarah. Look for the opportunities for growth and resilience that lie within your struggles. Even in adversity, God's presence is guiding us towards growth and resilience. Have you ever noticed God's presence in the beauty of nature? It's there, in every leaf that rustles in the wind, in every bird that takes flight in the morning, and in every river that carves its way through the earth. The grandeur of nature, in all its forms, is a canvas painted by the divine. Consider the majesty of mountains, for instance. They stand tall, their peaks reaching towards the heavens, as if in a constant state of worship. They are immovable, unshakable, just like the eternal love of God. Their beauty formed over eons is a testament to God's patience and the enduring nature of His creations. Or take the tranquility of a forest. The stillness, the quiet, it's as if every creature, every tree, every blade of grass is whispering a silent prayer. It's a sanctuary, a place of peace, a testament to God's promise of solace and comfort. These natural wonders are not just breathtaking sights, 
they are manifestations of God's creativity, His love, and His constant presence in our lives. They are reminders that He is always with us in every moment, in every breath we take. So the next time you're out in nature, take a moment, look around, breathe in the beauty, feel the divine love that surrounds you. Because the beauty and wonder of nature is a testament to God's presence and love. How can you actively recognize God's presence in your life? It's a question that many of us ponder, and the answer might be simpler than you think. Let's start with mindfulness. It is the art of being present, of fully immersing ourselves in the here and now. When you practice mindfulness, you open your senses to the world around you, and in doing so, you open yourself up to the divine. It's in the gentle rustle of leaves, the laughter of a child, or the comforting aroma of a home-cooked meal. By being fully present, you allow yourself to recognize and appreciate these divine moments. Prayer is another powerful tool. It's a conversation with the divine, a moment of connection and reflection. It can be as simple as expressing gratitude for the day, or as deep as seeking guidance in a moment of uncertainty. It's not about the words you say, but the sincerity with which you say them. Acts of kindness, too, can help us perceive God's presence. When you extend your hand to help another, you're channeling divine love. It's a tangible manifestation of God's presence in our lives. And finally, spending time in nature allows us to connect with the divine on a primal level. It's in the majesty of a mountain range, the serenity of a quiet forest, or the vastness of the ocean. In nature, we're reminded of the divine's omnipresence. By taking these steps, you can begin to perceive God's presence in all aspects of your life. Recognizing God's omnipresence is a transformative experience. It's a journey of self-discovery, a path towards a deeper understanding of our world and our place within it. We invite you to continue this exploration with us. Each video we create is a step further into this journey. To not miss out on any of our content, be sure to subscribe to the Reclaim Your Life Motivation channel. Join us on this journey of self-discovery and transformation. Subscribe to our channel today.